drop the brace. What's up, guys? It's Ryan and Bob here from Full House RS, and today we are going to be dueling necks. So I'm going to be tanking. This is my gear. I have full Torva and uh, Farseer Kite Shield. Uh, this is going to be Bob's inventory on screen. Uh, he chose to use a mace and an offhand. Is that a rapier? Mm -hmm. uh, because he thinks it's better and cheaper. I just cut my rapier so Not that's... it's cheaper. I don't care about price. I think it's better. Okay. So we're going to go in now and we're going to give you tips as we're killing it. Like things that pop into our head. This is also going to be completely unplugged, so... Unplugged? You guys can probably hear what I'm clicking, because my phone's right next to my mouse. Alright. Uh, I have... So I tend to build bar on minions while Ryan's waiting for next in the middle. Yeah, I have an adrenaline potion in my, uh, inventory for the ice phase. Just I also have, um, a vampirism scrimshaw. Alright, so I pray melee on this phase. I pray mage. And I assault as soon as I can every time. Yeah, assault and havoc are a good combo. When we three man, we can usually get it out of this phase before it escapes. And if you stand here, it'll run right to where, right there, which is where you kind of want it. Mm -hmm. Also a good um, combo to use on it is slaughter and kick. Alright, so I just got drug. It's really annoying because it turns your prayer off. Alright. All right. So now I usually lure here, put on magic prayer. Oh, it doesn't want to stay on me. <laughs> Alright, tell me when to tag it. Yep. It's escaping. And I kind of just sit here and wait for Bob to finish killing the minion. Go ahead. Alright, so now the first damage you do is going to make it change phase. Now it's on the shadow phase. It's going to do these dark sphere things on you. And you kind of just want to not be under them. And General usually for this phase uh, is uh, hit it twice and run so you don't get hit by the bleed effect That's uh, if you stay in the dark too long. Mm -hmm. Did so, I call it? No, I just ran too far away. And um, bleed effects like... Uh, what is it called? Slaughter and Kick, where you can use Massacre. Those work really well. Yeah. Right. Only time not to use that would be the Blood Phase. Mm -hmm. Which is what we're going to be at once it... I, I, I keep the minion away from Bob so that he can kill the minion without having to worry about necks. You said kill the minion. You keep the minion away from me? Yeah. Keep the necks away from me <laughs> while you kill the minion. Whatever. Oh, did I run out of prayer? Yes. Tag it. Yeah. And in shadow phase, you want to be careful because it'll hit you hit you really hard with melee. All right, you do not want to attack it here. As I do. <laughs> yep. And I kind of want to focus on defensive abilities. How you like to use resonance and preparation. And of course, I just DPS. Mhm. Mm and there's Bob's train. <laughs> And there you go. All right. When it when it says the name of the minion, that means that it's switching phases. <clears throat> All right. So now I don't want to. I want to try to stay out of melee distance and keep my adrenaline up, because the first thing it'll do when it in, enters the ice phase is it'll either do what's called the uh, contain, or it'll do an ice prison. Thank you. Want to have full adrenaline for the ice prison. Alright, it's containing, so you kind of want to just run away. Fucking, oh my god, they keep calling me on Skype. Alright, so that's why I have my adrenaline pot, barricade. Put that part up. Alright. <laughs> And now you want to kill it like normal. As a tank, oh, it's containing again. Just called it. You can uh, attack the minion now, so I can kill you easily. Son of a bitch. 
It's gonna probably ice prison me. Yep. And when you're in this prison, you want to try and your teammate wants to try and get the corners. The corners yeah. are what will easily free you. Um, Alright, so. I generally berserk when I'm duoing on this phase. You want to be really careful though, because it's praying melee right now. Mm -hmm. I usually interact with my pack yak, so I stop attacking it. It's what I've noticed when I've been attacking is it seems to be three next attacks before she start stops praying again. Yeah, see, there's soul split, and you want to be careful with bleed effects. It's about three. No, bleed effects don't matter because they reset when she oh, perks melee. Yeah. And see, I'm kind of just spamming defensive abilities so that I keep my adrenaline up without um. Oh, it's praying range, so this is good because. When it prays range, it won't pray melee or soul split, so you don't have to worry about uh, hitting yourself and killing yourself and dying. Which has never happened, so... Alright, almost dead. Alright, and then it's gonna do that. Run away. Run out or. Oh, yeah. And then at the end of the kill... We don't usually duo, but... At the end of the kill, I always just heal up. And then whoever gets the kill splits half with the tank. And that's just what we do. And that's it. And that's it. So that was kind of like a next kill, kind of in-depth. And then the, our team will usually stand in the northwest corner, and I'll kind of wait here in the middle and wait for it to spawn. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything else to add, Bob? Mm, not that I can think of. We've had unbelievable luck lately. Yeah, you'll see that in my Road to One Bell cache. And also so. my cleaning house. I call yeah. it six uh, drops on vid, so... Yeah, but. I only got one, and I already used it in a video. <laughs> but, uh, so that's it from us, guys. I hope you liked it. It's not really like a guide, it's just kind of like a general tips. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video.